I love oceanic fragrances. Salty, seaweedy, woody, perfect for when you're trudging through a salty, seaweedy rock pool. So while I'm on the coast, I thought I would share with you five of my favorite oceanic fragrances. Oh, there's a crab. There are two fragrances I'm not including in this video because every time I do, I always get complaints in the comments section. Oh, how could you include such popular mainstream fragrances? They're in every video, boring. So the first fragrance I'm not including in this video is Aqua di Gio Profumo from Giorgio Armani. This combines marine accords with incense and what it gives you is just this classy, gentlemanly fragrance with some beautiful oceanic marine vibes. So there you go, Aqua di Gio, the first fragrance I am not including in this video. The second fragrance I am definitely not including in this video is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue O Intense. This is an easy, breezy, sea breezy fragrance, gorgeous, salty, marine accords, a really nice dollop of juniper to give it a refreshing gin and tonic type of feel, some impressive musks, a stunning fragrance that I would not dream of including in this video. The next one is the first of two Paco Rabanne fragrances. This one is Invictus Aqua. I love the sour saltiness of this fragrance. It's like the olfactory equivalent of a tequila slammer. In the background, you've got the bubblegum sweetness of the original Invictus. So the salty sourness and the bubblegum sweetness just balance each other perfectly. This is the 2016 version, which is definitely more salty and sour and marine-like than the current version of Invictus Aqua, but that one's still nice if you want to wear a nice sweet bubblegummy like ocean fragrance. So we're on to the second fragrance from Paco Rabanne, and this fragrance wasn't liked by everyone when it came out, but those who do like it really liked it and I'm one of those it caught me by surprise I did not expect a one million flanker to remind me of summers by the ocean I'm talking about one million parfum so we've got some of that sweet one million DNA and it's got a really nice indolic characteristic probably coming from the tuberose but what I love most about this fragrance is the salty skin accord it just makes me think of being by the ocean you've been in the sea you've got salty skin and you put your sun cream on because this has got a little bit of coconut so it's got a bit of a tropical feel so suntan lotion by the ocean that's what i've been doing this week it's sunny here and i gotta say one million parfum working a treat i'm currently just trudging through a pool of seaweed, which is quite appropriate for the next fragrance, Tom Ford's Costa Azura. So this has that marine-like, slightly salty accord, but it also has a seaweed note. And I wouldn't say it's a, a, a full-on seaweedy smell like the actual seaweed here smells, but it does give you that oceanic type of vibe. This is a really classy fragrance. Part of the reason for that is these crisp green herbal accords. And I think the master stroke of Costa Azura is to include incense. And just like with Aqua de Gio Profumo, the incense works really well with these salty marine accords. So very classy fragrance. Performance, yeah, okay, not the best, but if you wear this on a warm summer's evening, preferably somewhere near the ocean, I like it. The next fragrance is probably the one that smells most realistically of the ocean, Tom Ford's Oud Mineral. And this has a real dirtiness to it. It's got that salty, wet seaweed type of smell, which is, in all honesty, not a pleasant smell when you come down to the ocean. But because I associate it with good memories, 
uh, I, I guess that it's a smell that I've kind of grown to like in some sort of perverse way. And obviously Oud Mineral is blended to be a wearable fragrance, but even so, there's something about this fragrance that makes me wonder what it is about it that makes me keep coming back to it. And I think it is, I think it's just good associations, good memories. There's something else about this fragrance that I like, and it's this this wetsuit material, neoprene. I don't know if it's the, the mineral accords in here, but it just makes me think of wetsuits. And I could just be imagining that, it could just be an association that, that I have when I smell this neoprene material, that it reminds me of the smells of the ocean. But whatever it is, I keep coming back to this fragrance, I really enjoy it. This is the EDP, which is now discontinued, and EDT has just been re-released. I haven't smelt that one. Uh, it might smell differently. Let me know if you've smelled that. Tom Ford are selling it, 94 pounds for 50 mil. I'll try it at some point, but for now, loving Oud Mineral EDP. The last fragrance is a dupe, and the more I've been wearing this fragrance over the last few months, the more I've really been enjoying it even more so than the Creed original on which it's based. Armaf's Club de Nuit Milestone. It smells very similar to Creed's Millicium Imperial. We've got some sea saltiness, a little bit of fruitiness, but it's all very smooth. And the interesting thing about Milestone is a lot of people, people in the know, I don't have that much experience with Millicent Imperial. It wasn't one of my favorite Creed's. I do enjoy this more than the Creed, but people that I know that are in the know, you know who those people might be say this one is better than the Creed. And the fact that this is a fraction of the cost is, is just pretty mind-blowing. So, Club de Nuit Milestone. Great fragrance, easy to wear, sea salty ocean vibes, and uh, versatile enough, I would say, to just wear whenever you want. Very affordable, very good. As you can see, I love the ocean, which is why I love fragrances that remind me of the ocean. What do you think of my choices and what are your favourite fragrances that remind you of the ocean? If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you do all that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.